And what's happening YouTube, it's your boy Tech Tricks back with another video and today we're going to show you how to fix your problems on iOS 14. Here we go. First things first, make sure to hit that subscribe button below, hit that notification bell so you can be notified of the next videos to come of tips and tricks on your iPhone and your Android. Check out my merch below at 1130.ca and here we go. As you can see, this is our iOS 14, iPhone 10 on iOS 14. Right now, there's so many features that iOS 14 has and Apple added on iOS 14. Here we see some widgets and you can have a clear screen as well. Different widgets that Apple added there. You can do a wiggle mode right there and add a new widget just like that. For example, if you wanted to do batteries, it has different modes as well, where it shows all the device that you have there and different modes. New app developers as well are updating their app so that they have their own widgets like Open Table, Pastel, Twitch, and Weather Network. There's and many more to come, like Documents, Coinbase, and Cheap Flights. There you go. There's so many ways to customize your widgets. The other thing that the iOS 14 has brand new feature is the app library. In the app library, it'll automatically update and organize your apps on different folders from travel, games, health and fitness, education, utilities, productivity, and more. So that's pretty cool. You don't have to organize your apps. The other feature is going through messages and having different replies and different features on iMessage, different updates for the FaceTime as well, where you can have 30 people or more on your FaceTime. So that's pretty cool. Now there are a lot of features on the iOS 14 but there is a big problem with them. And today we're looking at the Dr. Phone System Repair for iOS System Recovery. Oh, wait, look at that. Join Dr. Phone Worry-Free iOS Update Plan. Uh, let's go ahead and click that. It says, win new iPhone 12 for free. Okay. So what is this all about? Let's see, what can we do? Okay, iOS Update, let's go ahead and click that. Um, oh, there we go. So, um, well, we already uh, updated to iOS 14. Let's just input our email address here and then submit to win the iPhone 12. There. Oh, there you go. Would you look at that? Now I can download the Dr. Phone System Repair for iOS. Here we go. Let's go ahead and show you what's wrong with iOS 14. There are times that new softwares gives us a little bit of a headache um, sometimes it would get stuck when you are trying to update your phone. You might not even up, update uh, all, all throughout. Um, there's also a problem where it's uh, you need to verify and the iTunes is not uh, verifying. There's also an issue where you don't have enough space to upgrade or to update. There's also the stuck, to, stuck on slide on the upgrade screen. And then you won't be able to do anything. You're stuck there. There's a lot of times as well where the server is, uh, there's so many people updating. So the server is not quick enough or it's too much traffic on the server. So you won't be able to update. And so much more um, things that, that can go wrong when you're updating and when you are in the update of the iOS 14. On older devices, on older iPhones, this is really bad as well because there's things where um, your old iPhone, I, I updated my 6S Plus on uh, iOS 14 and it was having an iTunes problem and it's also not verifying. I'm also uh, having a SIM problem where I can't activate my SIM. So there's a lot of things that can go wrong. But today, we're going to go ahead and show you how to fix that. But you can get 40% off today on uh, Dr. Phone system repair for ios so let's go ahead and show you how it's done here we go so the first thing you need to do is to download the program dr phone system repair 
on Mac or Windows computer, whatever you got, and launch it. All the links will be in the description below. The next step is to plug in the whatever device you got, iPhone, even Android, to your computer. Now, during this process, the program should recognize the device that you just plugged in. And here we see the Dr. Phone System Repair Program. There's an iOS repair. There's also an Android repair. On the iOS repair, there's a standard mode and the advanced mode. Uh, standard mode will retain all the data. And uh, if you want to erase all, that would be the advanced mode. The Android repair uh, gives you a lot of options here for system damage, black screen, OTA, uh, phone break, uh, whatever it is that is a problem on your Android device, you'll be able to use this program to fix that as well. Uh, as you see here, there's iTunes repair as well, but um, today we're gonna focus on iOS repair. So what we'll do right now, we'll just click the standard repair so that we can retain all our data on our phones. If the phone is not connected but not detected by Dr. Phone, following the on-screen instructions will help you so that you can put your phone into DFU mode. Now, depending on the devices, uh, it will be different for uh, some of them. So the 7 and 7 Plus, you'll have to press and hold down the volume button and the power button at the same time. And then the, you have to release the buttons until it shows connect to iTunes. If the device, such as the one we're using today, is older than the 6S and 6S Plus, or if you can't tell that the version, um, that means the home button, the Touch ID, is still clickable, what you'll need to do is, uh, instead of holding down the volume down button, what you'll have to hold down is the Touch ID or the home button instead. After a few seconds, you can let go of the power button and keep holding on to the home button till the program recognizes your device. And make sure that uh, we're using the iPhone 6S Plus, as you could see here. Here, uh, it'll download the, the uh, software that it needs. Depending on how, how fast your network would be, this is how long it would take. So just uh, wait it out for a bit and uh, it'll start to install it on your phone. Once the software and the firmware have been downloaded and verified, you can now press fix now. Now this process may take some time, so just uh, sit back, relax, maybe leave it for a while. Uh, this will take about uh, less than 10 minutes and also depending on how much data you have on the iPhone, um, that's how long it will take. So just uh, wait it out. Uh, I sped up this process to six times just so you guys can see the whole thing. Uh, no cuts or anything like that. Enjoy. And there you go, we're pretty much done here on the repair. So once you're all done on the program system repair, you can close that, press done, and then you can go ahead and close that. Now we're gonna focus more of our time with our phone. So as you could see here, it's just starting up and it would says uh, press home to upgrade. Just go ahead and do that. Punch in your passcode and then uh, it'll go through the rest of the update. Once all this process is done, all your files should be still intact on this phone and uh, the black screen of death should have been fixed. But if it's not, you can go ahead and do the advanced mode where you can wipe out all, everything on your phone, uh, brand spanking new, make your phone uh, pretty much brand new. But with, be careful when you do this, obviously all your data will be erased. Once you've done the advanced mode and your phone is still stuck on the black screen while you are in iOS 14, you can downgrade using Dr. Phone Repair iOS.
And that's it. I hope to see you guys in the comments below. Uh, tell me if it fixed your phone or if it didn't. Uh, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe button as well. A notification for the next videos to come of tips and tricks on your iPhone and Android. Thanks for watching guys and have a great day. Stay safe out there. Peace.